Now we have another story out of Florida, Sarasota, Florida, to be exact. Now it says Sarasota County deputies arrested a 42 year old woman as a substitute teacher for destroying seven park benches after pouring fecal matter on them. But let me roll just a short clip of a guy just describing it. A lady uh, wearing a mask and had rubber gloves on and she had a, a cup of something and she was pouring it out under the tables and then wiping it in and she went through table to table. It was a great park. It was probably the best park in Sarasota. and. You know, for that to happen over something so childish. According to an arrest report, Carpenter worked as a substitute teacher at Philippi Shores Elementary in Sarasota. She wasn't happy with how the principal handled a complaint she made with the school. The principal planned a party for her daughter at the park and invited the entire class, including Carpenter's child. So as you heard the guy's description of what this nasty, nasty, nasty savage was doing, where do you get a, a, a container of fecal matter from? I mean, like seriously, who's going to collect that? And you sitting up there with, with, with gloves on and smearing it all on the park benches. I mean, this female, oh man. And you was teaching students. This is why black people pulling their kids out of school. It's enough of you sitting up there being racist toward them. You, you up there sleeping with the students, molesting the students, cops in there beating up kids. And, and then now you out here uh, smearing fecal matter all on, on the park benches. Man, black folks, you're doing a good job of uh, pulling your kids out of these schools. Now, the, as you heard, she wanted to get back at the school principal who was hosting a party for her daughter at the park. Okay, she do it when the principal is hosting a party for her daughter, hers. Now, as you heard the guy talked about, she was wearing the mask and she had a rubber gloves on. Now, according to um, the arrest report, Heather Carpenter poured waste and fecal matter at seven tables. The tables had to be replaced, costing the county nearly $1,500. Now, they stated that she worked at the elementary school as a substitute teacher. She told deputies that she filed a professional complaint at the school and was not happy how the school's principal handled it. The principal had a party plan at Erfer Park for her daughter. The principal invited the entire class, including Carpenter's child, to the party. That's a Carpenter told deputies she wanted to interrupt the birthday party. Um, let me think of a way I can interrupt the birthday party. I can like show up to the party. I can start questioning the principal about some things. Um, there's a lot of ways to interrupt the party. But why would you interrupt the party for your own daughter, you idiot? Man, you're so ignorant and savage at the same time. Um, if he did not give you the result you want, could you not go to the superintendent? That was an option. Could you not talk to the school board? That was another option you could have done. But no, no, because you're so ignorant and you don't know anything about chain of command and because you want to go show out and ruin a party that was for your daughter, you fool. Then this is what you done. And this is why you got arrested. Now she was uh, facing criminal mischief charges and she was given a 2,500 bond. Of course, she can no longer substitute in Sarasota County school district. But you know, that high IQ it, it's, it's amazing, isn't it? You know, because it, they, they always try to talk about high IQ. I, last time I checked people with a high IQ don't go and smear fecal matter on park benches, destroying a city property just because they're mad at a school principal because they didn't get what they want. They didn't get their way. You see, you see, you see how that, see how it works with the high IQ. I don't let them lecture me. I don't let them tell me. No, I, don't, I just don't because you have no right to question me. Fix your own issues, fix your own community and let me fix mine. And that's just the way it's going to work. You, you, you're going to say it. You're not going to be pointing no fingers at me and mine. I, I ain't going to let you do it. When I'm reading stories like this. Leave me a comment. Let me know thing about this particular story uh, with this so-called substitute teacher. Like I say, let any old body in these schools run these children. That's why I highly advocate black people to really get together, create more schools, send your children to schools that promote um, our community, that teach the things that's right in our community, because we don't want to be exposed to this. We don't have to.